guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I wanted to share with you a do a lesson with us with Apology on Math 1. So please excuse my voice. I am getting over being sick this week, so still have a little bit of that going on. I have done a do a lesson with us with math five with my older daughter. So I'll be sure to link that as well. But I wanted to share with you math one as well with my son. He is in first grade. We're using math one. It's going super, super well. We love, 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 love Apologia for both of my kids. It works really well, really well for both of them. So I really just wanted to share with you kind of what a typical lesson looks like, kind of the flow of a typical lesson, how long it takes us how involved it is. Um, I get a lot of questions about the hands-on like activities and how um, involved they are and how much you have to prepare for them. So I'm gonna share a little bit about that as well. So if you are interested in seeing what Apologia Math 1 looks like, let's go. Hmm. Stop eating all the math back snacks. Today, we are talking about groups that have greater than and less than, more than, less than, equal to, okay? We're gonna be talking about that today. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to start with an activity. We have two different snacks here, okay? Two snacks. What you're gonna do, group A is right here, group B is right here, okay? Group A has five more than group B, uh, but you have to make sure that it's five more than what group B has. How much does B have? You can put whatever number you want. So why don't you start with group B? That would be easier. So start with group B and put in put a number of snacks there. Okay, so you chose to put two in group B. So what's five more than two? On group A, you have to put five more than, than group B has. Okay. Do you know how you figure that out? Okay, now they have the same, right? So this one still has to have five more, so add five to it. That one's a big one. That's not five more, keep going. Yep, yeah, there you go. So how many does group A have? Group B has two more than group A. So start with one of the group, you would start with probably group A. So put a number of snacks in group A, however many you want. Okay, three. So now for group B, you need to make group B have two more than this one has. Is that right? Well, how many do you have? Five. Five. So five is two more than three. Okay, you wanna eat those? Group A and B are equal. So how would you show that? What does equal mean? I don't know. Hmm? I don't know. Equal means the same. They're equal to, they have the same amount. So show me them having the same amount. So you showed that group A and B are equal, right? This next one, group A has three more than group B. So start with group B and put what you want. Okay, show me this one having three more than that. Good, so three more than one is what? How many do you have? Look at this picture. See this picture? There are three boys and two girls in the picture. Okay. 
There is one more boy than girls in the picture. There is one fewer girl than boys in the picture. Do you see that? Look at these pictures, okay? How many more white balloon dogs are there than pink balloon dogs? Five. Okay, how many white balloon dogs are there altogether? Eight. White ones. Oh. Five. All right, so you're right at five there. Okay, how many pink ones are there? Three. Three, so right at three on this space. Okay, so how many more white ones are there than pink ones? <coughs> if you have five um, white ones and three pink ones, how many more white ones? Two. Two. All right. You're going to write two. Four. Okay. You're going to write a four. Two. Mm hmm Okay. And how many oranges are there? Uh-oh. Okay, so how many more, how many fewer apples are there than oranges? Mm. If you have five oranges and four apples, how many fewer apples are there? One. Yeah, so you're going to write one right there. Good job. Subtraction can help us compare two groups of objects. Look at the example below. There are eight popsicle sticks, okay, and four paintbrushes. So we can use subtraction to compare the two. So you would take the bigger number, eight minus four gives you four. So there are four more popsicle sticks than paintbrushes. You see that? Okay, how many more boys are there than girls? So how many boys are there? Huh? There's two girls and one, two, three, Four. Yeah. So you're going to write four boys. And then how many girls are there? Two. Two minus two girls equals how many? So how many six. more? Mm, close. How many more? boys are there than girls? Four minus two. Four. What's four minus two? If you have four things and you take two away, how many are left? Um, two. Four. So you're going to write a two right here. Okay, there are two more boys than girls. And there are how many fewer girls are there than boys? Two. Mm-hmm. So you're right, two, two. Okay, last two problems. How many fewer nickels are there than pennies? So how would you figure that out? These are nickels, these are pennies. Which one has more? That one? Okay, how many is there? Ten. Right a ten year. Okay, and then how many nickels are there? Five. So you're gonna write a minus five right here. The five. That's a good five. I did it without looking. Good job. So how much does that equal? 10 minus five is what? 10 minus five. Um, five. Five. 
five, yes. So you're gonna write a five right here. There are five fewer nickels than pennies. Another good five. Good job. Okay, how many red Lincoln cubes are there? How many more red Lincoln cubes are there than blue ones? So how would you do this? How many? So this is eight. Okay, so how would, where would you write that? Right here. Yep. Good. Um, this is two. Okay. Good. And what does that equal? Eight, take away two. Good, write a six. You did it. You set that problem up on your own too. Mm -hmm. High five, mister. And we're done with math today. I wanted to share with you kind of what other lessons would look like. So for example, yesterday's lesson was playing a war, a game of war with cards to show like greater than and less than. So sometimes there's card games, sometimes we use Uno cards, that sort of thing. And then today's was with the snacks, using some hands-on snacks for that. Um, and then tomorrow, some lessons you have to print things off. So tomorrow I have to print out these, this page from the teacher's guide or rip it out. And then we're gonna be cutting this out and doing something with those. So every lesson is a little bit different um, the lessons are typically about the same length. If I feel like a lesson is, is a little long, we might split it in two. It just depends. I kind of just see kind of how he's doing. And if there's like a lot of problems on the page, I may split it in half and finish the rest of it the next day. And we're going to be moving into this next chapter, which is how addition and subtraction are related. And then you have your activity and the activities are really simple mostly everything that you would typically have on hand nothing really special and then this is his practice and this page too so and then there's another um lesson about fact families so i'm gonna give you a little bit look at some of the activities um, that are to come You like your math? It's yeah. pretty fun, huh? You like doing all the little activities that we do with it and the games? Yeah. Snacks make it fun. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part about this math? Um, the problems. You like doing the problems? It's kind of fun figuring it out. Yeah. yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing a look at a lesson with Apology on Math 1. It is a wonderful curriculum. Like I said, it works great for both of my kids who have very different learning styles, who are very different when it comes to liking math or being really good at math or struggling with math. It works for both of them and it's going really, really great. If you want to check out more about Apology and Math, I will link their website down below for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye.